balloons? Where do they come from? What's their purpose? And most of all, how in the world are they camo? Like, who's painting the camo on these balloons? These are questions I need to know. Like, I honestly, like, I, I, Ninja Kiwi, come on, I got some questions here. Anyways, back to the story. In some of the first games of the Balloons franchise, there was no such thing as a camouflage balloon, meaning that the balloons have learned how to camouflage themselves from monkeys. What if I told you there was a stronger form of camouflage? One of the Grandmaster Boss Balloons, the Chameleon, is said to have an ability that allows for it to go completely invisible. This gigantic balloon can sneak past armies of monkeys completely undetected. That's right, everyone. Are we going to be able to defeat this crazy chameleon boss balloon? Here's how it works from my understanding, the, the intel that the monkeys have given me, my friends. The balloon appears at round 40, 60, and 80, respectively, getting stronger and stronger every single time. And so the question is, will we be able to beat this boss balloon? Not only that, it is a camo balloon, and it has the ability to change colors. It can change from... I don't know. It has four different colors that it can turn into. And so it goes through different phases. And so it'll it'll come out, and once we attack it, it'll go into a permanent invis stage. The only way we can get it out of this is if we use camo removal on it a bunch of times. So, for example, a, a good example is a ninja monkey with counter espionage and, like, balloon jitsu. Because you have to hit the balloon ten times with camo removal. We could also get a... Uh, any, anything that removes camo from balloons, right? Like cleansing foam works. Um, I did not mean to put that plane down. I'm selling that plane right now out of pure shame. Pure shame. I'm not, I'm not having it. I'm going to put a banana farm down here, though, and start making a little bit more money. And so after it goes into the camo and it comes back out, it'll change colors depending on what did the most amount of damage to it and become invincible against that type of damage. It might sound a little bit complicated, but I'm sure it'll make sense once it actually comes out. Fun fact, I this this I remember reading this a while back ago and it really cracked me up when I did. Lights, like street lights in video games, take real electricity. Now hear me out, because since they use uh, a, a, like a brighter color, it actually makes your, your screen has to actually put light electricity onto the lights. So it technically is using electricity to light. Now I got to start preparing. I don't want to have to deal with this, this pesky balloon. This is going to be, we have 20 rounds to get ready for this. I definitely want to get like a ninja right here. And this is going to be a, this ninja I want to have, actually we'll put it right there. And then I'll also do ninja discipline for more range. And then we'll also get counter espionage and double shot as well. Hey, look, round 24 just came out. I'm so ready. I'm so glad that I had that ninja down. That's perfect. Yeah, counter, wait, distraction, distraction. I don't know if I actually like distraction. Like, is distraction even good? Like, what if we just got a bunch of like distraction? What if everything just has distraction on it? What if the balloons are just always distracted? They're like, what? Who? I don't know how much money I'm actually going to need. I think what I'm going to do, well, as soon as we hit round 28, which means I can't actually hit any uh, lead balloons right now, which is a little awkward. We'll put that there. Heavy bombs. And there we go. First. There we go. I definitely don't have enough money for it, but the, that is full. So now I can go back to here and put down. Can I put down two banks? I do not have enough money for two banks. That's for sure. Right there. Bigger radius. Is he in the range? He is in the range. That's wonderful. All right, our ninja is covered, and now we have radar scanner. So now we can see all the camo balloons, and now we can actually hit things with our camo detection. And that's going to be really, really, really nice. So we have a couple of rounds until we have to deal with this this very pesky balloon. So we're going to make it work. I mean, we can put our sniper right here because they're still in range of our village. Let's level up. Strong, fast firing, even fast. I love sniper deadly precision. Like, I feel like you can't go wrong with sniper deadly precision. It's just so good. It's just so good. 20 damage per shot 20 damage that's crazy okay and no one's gonna convince me otherwise but the question is are we even gonna be able to deal with this boss balloon when it shows up i'm not entirely sure but we're gonna make it work my friends we always do let's see we have uh i kind of want recursive cluster but at the same time I, I i don't i really don't want recursive cluster i do want mib though uh how's this looking six thousand 7,000. Uh, do I get the money? Do I get the money or do I chill? 
I want it at the end of round 40. So as soon as the boss balloon shows up, I'll do that. I can upgrade to MIB. Okay, so we're going to do that. Oh, no. So here's the chameleon. So there's... I just got Monkey Intelligence Bureau. It actually doesn't have a ton of HP. So we're doing a pretty good job against it. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Ah! So it's gray right now. So, but since we have MIB, I'm pretty sure everything can, good, can do damage to it. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves. So far, so good. It only has 14,000 HP right now. Uh, do I want to get... I kind of... Oh, it was... It, it just went invisible. Yo, what? Okay, so the damage it's taking is, like, great. So I think I want to change... Maybe we can... Oh, I want to... I want fire. That's what I want. I want to get a wizard right here. And then I want to get dragon breath. Yeah, now we can just put dragon breath, put it on fire. Intense magic or... Mm, guided magic and arcane blast. I think it's going to be really good. And summon phoenix. I, want, I definitely want to have summon phoenix. Because summon phoenix, I think, is going to be really powerful against this thing. There we go. Use the summon phoenix. There we go. Yeah, look at all that. Look at all the fire damage. Perfect. Yeah, and then we have our little our little sniper monkeys as well. Yeah, so it goes in... Oh, wait. We still have 3,000 HP. We still are... We are not popping it right now. It still has 2,000 HP. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's getting by. This is... No, it's okay. It's about to pop. It's about to pop. There's a fortified ZOMG in it. There's a fortified ZOMG in this. I am not ready to deal with a fortified ZOMG. What the heck? Holy cow. Holy cow. Uh, uh, this is really awkward. Uh, 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 how do I deal with a fortified ZOMG? That's a really good question. Uh, I need to get... If I can get Phoenix up again, we might be able to deal with this. I only have $1,000 right now. Uh-oh. I might need some help here. Yeah, we're uh, we're not we're kind of in trouble. Is it gonna be fortified Moabs too? I don't know if I can deal with fortified Moabs. I need a I need to sell I need to sell that too. I need to get a main Moab. Okay, we got main Moab, so we have that at least, which is gonna stun it and slow it. Yeah, so there's the BFB, but we can we can stun it. So now that we have that, we have the money that we need. Uh, that was a little bit tragic. What did I end up selling? I ended up selling our bomb shooter, but we do have this Moab under lock. Thank goodness that we have that. That was really close. I was not ready for it to have a fortified ZOMG on it on round 40. Holy cow. We need more damage. Maybe we maybe we get like a heli pilot here. I still want it in range of the village. And then I want pursuit. And then let's just save up. And then eventually I want to get the special operations. Because I think that's going to be really, really nice to have. But it is only round 45. I need more banks. I do not have enough money right now. I think it was definitely a, a big mistake in not going for more banks. That was That is what I regret, is not getting enough banks at the start. Because that that was not easy to deal with. I Granted, the ZOMG was the hardest part about that. And I think the ZOMG is going to just... It's going to stay the same strength. So as we get stronger, that'll be easier to deal with. But the boss balloon at round 60 and 80 is going to have exponentially more money than the previous rounds. Because I think this round only had like 20k. So like the next boss is probably going to have like 70k HP, right? And that's going to make it a lot more difficult to deal with. And I'm... That's going to be a sheesh. That's what I have to say about that. Sheesh. That is, uh, that's going to be hard. Okay, it's not going to be easy, but we're going to make it work. Okay, we got to believe in ourselves because that's that's the whole plan. That's the whole that's the whole kit and caboodle. I think having this this guy down is always really nice. Putting put you down and then uh, that's really not that much range. I'd rather put it up in this corner right here with faster shooting, double shot, destroyer, and then hot shot. And that's just like a lot of extra damage, which is really, really nice. And honestly, let's go ahead and just grab a couple submarines, too. Like, you can never go wrong with submarines. It's impossible. Submarines are too and armor-piercing darts are going to be really, really nice. There we go. I want armor-piercing. Thank you. Now we have armor-piercing. And I sh I'm going to get one more submarine. Yeah, look at that. We're already at $20,000 in the bank. That's a lot of money for us. It's round 58. We're going to have to deal with this 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 next pesky balloon soon we're gonna need i'm gonna wait when does this ninja stop seeing him so the ninja stopped being able to see him there okay so here comes the boss again i ended up selling the helicopter because it was making our game lag really badly which was kind of sad but that's okay i kind of want to get the grandmaster ninja actually let's just level this up 
we can get counter espionage. How is this looking for us? It's doing pretty well, but it's still at 50,000 HP. So we might want to get some other stuff for this. I kind of want to get... Oh my gosh, look at the Sada attack marks on it. That's vicious. There we go. Well, let's get some more. Let's get some of this. I kind of want to put down a... Let's put down a little guy right here. And I want to make this a Spirit of the Forest. $37,000! What do you mean it costs $37,000? That's way more expensive than I wanted that to be. Okay, there we go. But we are dealing with the, the, the balloon pretty well. I kind of want to get more, like, magic, uh, magic type uh, things to do damage to it. Let's see. What would be cool to have, like, some crazy magic damage? Oh, I want to get a one of these. All right, wait. We're at 18,000. Are we going to be able to deal with this in time? I would like to think we're going to be okay dealing with this. Let's see. We can use Sada. We got to use Sada's ability. Help her just get like a couple of, couple of pops here and there. We're at 8,000 pops. We can do this thing. Holy cow. We just got to believe. We have to pop it. There we go. It's staying. The, the, the chameleon balloon staying great because we have mainly just like military type towers attacking it. There we go. 15. And it's going to pop. But remember, it does have a fortified ZOMG in it. But luckily, we definitely have a, a pretty strong baseline for dealing with it now. Holy cow. Look at how tanky it is. Fortified ZOMG is nothing to mess with. Like, holy cow, it is really, really strong. It's way str Yeah, look at look at the difference between all of that. So far, we have $3,000 in the bank, and we have 20 more rounds to go. Will we be able to deal with the last boss balloon? I have no idea, but we're going to give it a try. I want more magic-type damage. I would love to get a super monkey. That's what I want. I, I don't want a Spirit of the Forest. I have changed my mind. We're going to put you down right here. Oh, there we go. And it's still in range. Laser blast, plasma blasts. Do I want do I want super range or do I want knockback and ultra vision? I, I think super range and epic range is probably the best there. And then sun avatar. Or do I want robo monkey? I want robo monkey. Robo monkey and I can get a uh, save up for a tech terror as well. And then maybe the anti-balloon gunner, if we're lucky. And besides, I'd love to see the next boss balloon. I want to see it turn, like, purple. I Because it, it does change colors depending on how much damage you do to it for certain things. So maybe I get rid of the sniper monkey because the sniper monkey is too good. It pops too many things. It's only... It's so... Sniper monkey is OP. I stand by it. I stand by the fact that sniper monkey is way too powerful. Any, I don't know I don't know how you change it without making it absolutely poo-poo, but it is way, way too powerful. They could sell, like, all of these, but they don't really sell for too much. I just want to get... If I can get the anti-balloon gunner, I think I can just, like, shred this once it gets to round 80. But I'm not entirely sure. By the way, I have to ask, do you all enjoy, like, boss-type balloon events? Do you want to see more custom bosses and balloon sour defense sticks? Let me know in the comment section down below. I always love to know what you all think reading through, and it also helps give us awesome ideas if you have any ideas for any balloon videos you would love to see please comment them down below uh we can hold on to the banks let's sell we can hold on to that ninja we can sell that we can sell all of these and now it's time for the anti-balloon gunner that's right i love the anti-balloon this is gonna be perfect it's gonna absolutely annihilate this bal this balloon i'm so ready to see it so we're gonna save up just because like we're it'll make us more money to empty out, wait for the banks to get full again by around like 78, 79. Empty out the banks, then sell everything for one last like hoorah. And that's going to give us a lot of money. That'll be enough money to give us like an inferno ring. I think I want to, that'll be the last thing I want to put down is an inferno ring right there. And I'm pretty sure that'll allow us to just like destroy everything. But then again, I don't really know what we're up against, right? It could be something that's quite quite spooky let's see yeah there's two see look at that that's twenty thousand dollars that we would not have had and we're still waiting so we very well could save up to like twenty eight thousand <laughs> you could save uh 50 or more by switching to kaiko for your car insurance sorry this is not this is not brand deal by kaiko but hey if you want to kaiko you know hit me up i'd love to work with a lizard dude i mean the kaiko all right well there i just ruined my chances there goes my chances i called him a lizard instead of a kaiko my, my chances of being a Geico representative is out the window. Okay, there we go. Let's collect all. Now we can sell that. That was an extra $32,000, which is pretty pog champ. Let's go ahead. I want the Inferno ring. 
attack shooter right there. Wait, oh, we got a monkey knowledge point. Sweet. All right, level 80. Let's do this. Inferno ring, more attacks and even more attacks. Holy cow. It has 300,000 HP. We might need some help here. Okay, we got this. Look at this thing. We're just shredding it. Hopefully, this ninja will help us out. Do I want to turn this into a Grandmaster Ninja? No, it's not really popping very much. Let's see. Holy cow. All right, let's use that explosion on it. It's gotten 140,000 pops. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're, we're doing okay, but we still are going to need... I have $45,000. I don't know what I want to spend on it. How is this helping? That does get a lot of pops on it, so that is nice. Is it going to turn invis soon? Maybe not. Maybe we've maybe we're okay. Holy cow. Okay, just keep just keep schwacking it. We need more help. Uh Let's put a helicopter down and let's get uh Apache dart ship with faster firing. This is almost out of the range, right? There we go. As soon as it gets out of the range, I'm going to sell it. Is that worth it? It sells for 38,000? Yeah. And then I can upgrade this to the Apache Prime. It's at 25,000 pops. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's put a ninja down. Not This is not a ninja, Ryan. This I wanted to put a sniper down, but I just said ninja cuz I had ninja on the brain, I guess. That's kind of how it it's kind of how it worked. We have Okay, well, we can sell this. And then we can actually go ahead and put down another one over here. And then this can be our our epic, our epic friendo. Thank you. More more of these. Just like ev just a little bit of everything. There we go, friend. We were able to beat the ultimate chameleon. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. You're all awesome. You're all beautiful. I hope you have a great rest of your day, friends. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more awesome content.